Welcome back, everybody, to the Game of Thrones pod. When we left things off yesterday, the realm was sort of thrown into a little bit of a civil war here, so we do probably need to kind of help out, because it's it's looking fine. I mean, I imagine it'll be okay. There are a few troops kicking around here, but you've got to bear in mind, he's still got all of the north that are still loyal to him. We are going to help out, though. Bear in mind that we've got a decent chunk of those forces as well, being the, the, the Lady Paramount of the Vale. So we're going to go for that. Yesterday, I also asked what you guys thought would be the right course of action with regards to our poor character, Silt of the Vale. Started off incredibly powerfully with, uh, I mean, she still is by, by all rights. I mean, 35 martial, 194 personal combat. But her past few duels have all resulted in absolute disaster. She's had her face sliced a bit. She's had her hand chopped off. If she keeps going this way, she's not going to live much past 30. So I sort of floated an idea out there. And, and you know, I've, I've had some results come back. But we'll, we'll, we'll deal with this war come, come first before before we mess around with uh, actually messing around with societies and actually our character herself. So let's deal with the round problems. Let's bail poor Manure out of this. I, I mean, it's going to be fine because he's got... 50,000 men, but I'm going to just make sure that things are things are going smoothly. I'd hate to inherit the realm and all of it be splintered like this. That would just sort of undo many, many generations of work up to that stage. So let's go and help out where we can. What, I assume we have a decent amount of knights then, given that we're coming from the Vale. I actually have no idea. Um, no. No, we don't. Uh, what's our troop composition, roughly? Like, vassals? Let's drop our troops again. Let's check very briefly. We really don't, huh? It is mostly just still heavy infantry. We've probably got more than your average character over here right now, but even then, it's still not that much. Man, 1,300 of our guys are from the sisters. We need to get those onto the mainland, ideally. That's a that's a good amount of troops. Um, you know what? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. it it's a 1,000 men. I think we're going to be fine regardless, like I said, so we'll, uh, we'll deal with that first. Oh! Whoa, what's this? Old blood. Ever since your disastrous bout of combat, you've experienced many strange dreams and hallucinations. The maester insists that such things are common following severe injuries, such as blows to the head, but you're sure this is different. You consult the castle library and find two curious books, one on the green seers of the first men and one on the dragon dreams of Valyria. As you carry the blood of both of these people, you have to decide which, if either, to pursue. So do we go for the, the god's eye, which is obviously that, that extremely holy sight of the first men? Do we go for Valyria to try and discover more about our Valyrian side of things? Or shall we go into hiding and deal with it by ourselves? Well, bear in mind right now we're in the middle of a massive civil war and we are maybe one of the best commanders, if not the best commander within the realm. It would be a real shame to be going into hiding right now. Um, let's let's go into hiding. I must dedicate myself to this alone because I think there may be some some good outcomes from this one. Just something something gives me that feeling. You might say it's somewhat prophetic. Okay, let's get these guys at least into position. We might we might not have to head out. I mean, maybe she'll come out of hiding within the day. Maybe it'll take her a year. Who really knows? But we'll wait and see here. But important is your region. Okay, so so that is officially. Why don't we check our commanders as well, very briefly, briefly then? Because if we can't lead troops, we need to make sure that we've got the best people on it. A tiny boy. Oh, that's Squire. That's why. That explains a lot. Oh, God, our commanders are terrible. Now... If we're going to leave the society, which is, there's a high chance, given that we've been absolutely sliced to pieces, we might as well get what we can out of it before we leave. So, oh, we can't actually hire those guys. Oh, we can raise an army, though. Nice. Okay, well, let's just get a regiment, then. Um, Non-reinforcing, which is a real shame, basically means that we can't leave the surround unfortunately as a permanent unit. Chances are it probably disbands on peace as well, like your sort of base CK to uh, tribal raiders. Or, or, or tribal armies. So let's not rely on that one. That could have been a cool way to get around the whole lack of retinues thing in the Game of Thrones world. But hey, one of your jealous bought words from themselves. He says, your Captain Lord Paramount, Roger Lansdale. Who the fuck is Roger Lansdale? Okay. Um, one of our captives. He just has King of Nothing. He has Haystack Hall uh, and Wenwater, apparently. Great. Okay. Not that that's a big loss. I don't think he was even... Is he even in the Rebellion? Was he even our vassal? I don't think he's even a vassal of the realm. I think he's just a random guy we had in our prison. Oh, wow. That was fast. You burn the glass candles of Valyria in the godswood of the grove of your castle when none can find you. The days, many days, have you have remained in seclusion. You find yourself on the verge of death. It is then the visions become more vivid than ever. You see two versions of yourself. One embodying the blood of the first men of the land of the rivers. The other, the blood of the Valyrians of the land of fire. Both peoples are said to hold the ability to control the living, be it dragons or lesser animals. Suddenly, all becomes clear. What could it mean? What could this mysterious event be? Well, if we hover over the tooltip, it'll probably say we're no longer in hiding. We're malnourished because we've spent many days just sitting by a river, lazing around like a damn millennial. We've gained dragon dreams and green dreams. I mean, they're basically the same thing, but don't don't look into that too much. We also get Delirious Ruler giving a little bit of revolt risk there and Vassal Opinion minus 10. As that's kind of understandable, if your liege suddenly said, I'm going to piss off to the woods for a few days, you'd probably accuse him of being a, a hippie or something. Anyway... There we go. We have now 
green dreams and dragon dreams. She's finally found her role in life. It's not to be sliced to bits like a piñata. Um, generally, I don't think you slice those to bits, but you sort of get what I'm getting at. Instead, she's she's a big old dreamer. She's got many she's got many things ahead of her. And dragon dreams, green dreams, I think they're they're very similar, aren't they? In regards to what they do, it even says in the description like green dreams. It's character dreams of the future and dragon dreams. It's like oh, you can get prophetic dreams, which are kind of the same thing. Now, this gives us access to a society that's been in since the start of the game that I was really hoping we would be able to see, but seems like it's not going to happen before the series is over, and that is the Skin Changers. So, this is a unique society added by the Game of Thrones Additional Bloodlines mod, which you can only join, funnily enough, if you are a uh, if you are strong with the old gods there. So, I guess if you're a warg, if you're a um, wolf, a mammoth, a unicorn? That's cool. Um... I guess if you're, uh, uh, I mean, this person, it doesn't even have green dreams. And maybe it's because they're a warg in that case, which is why they have all these different animals following them around. Ice Riverman as well, then, so they've got, they've got some old gods magic there. But there are, it seems like there might be a few ways to actually get in the society. More to the point that we are now strong with the magics of the old gods because we have them fancy old dreams. So we could join the skin changers. We could, we could get stuck in with that, and I think that can be kind of cool. I haven't, I don't want to spoil it too much. I actually don't know much of what this means myself. Never joined the society before. Haven't looked at the code for it. Haven't looked at the mod or anything like that. It just says, it, it gives some very cryptic hints that I, I don't want to spoil here. I don't know what the, the power two one is. I know what the power four one is. I've looked at that, but I don't really know what the society is about. We'll join this. We'll join this when we get the chance. Let's finish this war at first. I don't want to leave the berserkers and have that army that we just spawned, despawned or anything like that. So we'll deal with this first. Deal with the civil war. Then maybe we can get back to some, uh, get back to some character development. Now I should point out, this is also a bit of a risky scenario for us. Not only do we get that modifier that gives minus 10 vassal opinion, but we've also got, uh, dragon dreams give general opinion minus 10 and green dreams give general opinion minus 5. Granted, if you're old gods, you get a bonus to that, but I think because we're old gods reformed, it doesn't count. Similarly, dragon dreams are bonus to valyrian and the same trait combat, but that's really it. We also get some intrigue, which is quite nice because our intrigue was absolute dog shit beforehand. Well, I say absolute dog shit, it just wasn't as good as our other stats, which are otherwise incredible. Okay, let's get to it then, team. Let let's get a lead in these arms. We're bringing in 17. We're literally bringing in the cavalry here. So, I mean, we should be able to win this war. He almost certainly doesn't need our help. I'm just going to ensure things go a bit smoother. Because like I said, it'd be a real shame to lose all of this advantage. We could try and rank up again. We can try and rank up again, but I feel like, given that we're missing, uh, I mean, we've already been defeated quite tragically in a duel, haven't we? We've lost that minus one health previously, and missing our face, or part of our face, and the hand too. I don't think we want to lose any more. We're already on the verge of dying more than any other character, especially given our character's age and, and some of the traits as well. I don't want to risk it any further. I don't think it's necessary. You know, one more duel and then we're going to die at the age, ripe old age of 25 or something like that. So let's avoid it. Okay, so we've got Silt, Jonathan, and Gassoin, all of which are kind of garbage. Are we sure you can't hire... Oh, we can hire a warrior commander now, right? We don't have enough glory. Shit. What about bounty board? What if we got hunts and bounties, hire a commander, at least get something out of the society before we piss off so that we don't die? No targets. Okay, never mind then. Right, let's go for it, team. Um, maybe we should... Leave the society and offer to join the skin chains. Maybe it's like Lucifer Zone where you have to wait for someone to approach or something like that. There's already a cooldown on it, so we might as well uh, we might as well deal with the war while we wait for the cooldown and everything else to disappear. That way we can dive straight into things. Okay, um, who's leading this war, I should check? Because if we just go for her, get her in prison, all the way down here, Galmont. Let's go for her, get her in prison, problem solved as far as I'm concerned. So he's got 20, he's got the bulk of his army going down there. These guys are going to be fine. These guys are fucked. So we're going to go via this way and uh, sort of reinforce these troops. There's quite a big army building up here. Oh! Became good friends with our commander there, Jonathan. He's one of our best commanders. Oh, he was the guy that came to our court, wasn't he? He was the event spawned uh, warrior. That's okay. That's that's pretty good. Okay, let's take these guys out. See if we can do a little bit of damage on the way over. Um, there's personal leading troops there, personally, but I mean, so are these guys. They are going to uh, Rayonet. So let's set a route heading down through Rayonet. Chance are he's going to flank him with that 10,000 stack anyway, but it might make him go out and do some sieging instead. Oh, no. Now, this is bad. Like I said, we've already lost some permanent health due to the jewels that we fucked up. Developing the Red Death sounds terrible. Um, Red Death, by the way, is, an, is, is a disease from Sothorios, which just makes your skin fall off. So, this sounds like a terrible idea. This this would almost certainly kill us dead if it is the Red Death. I'm hoping he's bullshitting. Maybe we've been, like, tainted touched or something. Given that that's apparently now a thing. Um, oh, reinforce. Oh, well, he's going to lose that. It doesn't matter too much. We're almost at a capital. That would be really, really bad. Uh, it's gone or here. That's fine. That's that's not quite Red Death. It's it's not. Do we, do we need to worry about it to that extent? Because we have the brave trait. Maybe risk making things even worse. I mean, even a minus three health would put us into the negatives. In this case. Um, we don't want to do that. We really don't want to do that. 
Do we want to do that? Because we've already got minus one health. Uh, so, so, I mean, uh, as in, like, we've, we've already uh, uh, gained a minus one health. So, let's assume we start with the base CK25. Takes us down to four. Um, formidable fight gives us plus one per five. Takes us back up to 5.5. Um, Gonorrhea knocks us down by another minus two. So, now we're at 3.5. This fucks up. It can be a minus three, which basically is just us on our deathbed, right? If we're only on three health, I think we're probably safe to let him just give it a go. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, that's fine. We'll, ju we'll just hope that it'll, it'll cure by itself. So this guy wants to duel. Given that we fought someone with 23 personal combat 4 and got our hand chopped off, this could be a bit risky, but I'm going to give it a go because this might help decide the war somewhat. There we go. There's one of their good commanders killed. It's not going to affect this battle much, but it, it might, you know, it might help the tide of things. Oh, good. We are with Child Husband. We'll be pleased. We, we got gonorrhea, you know, roughly around the same time we became Pergonant. What is, what is that going to tell you? Magor, are you, are you hiding something? Fucking Magor. Okay, well, we'll keep a close eye on him. She's in seclusion. We're in a capital. There's also bloody flux. Who ideally, we don't want to capture that one. Ah, like, oh, she's in hiding too. Um, oh, maybe, maybe it's just where she's in seclusion there. 79%. In fact, if we take this one out, the Game of Thrones mod is really weird the way it does the war system. So, so you, you know, like in the base game, you can get the vassals rising up. Uh, they'll all form a, an empire-level title with everybody, a vassal and a person leading it. Instead, it's her leading it with the with the allies, them being called in as allies, which means all we need to do is capture her, even if she is a tiny little count like she is right now with no troops. The war is decided by just her being defeated, which doesn't really make much sense, but hey. Um, yeah, so once we see it just promised down, that's more or less going to be the whole bloody war. She's got anything else to worry about? Um... She hasn't got any other castles here. That's Felbond. So we just got to kill some troops. And then that, that's it. War's over. And again, I th I'm pretty sure he's got this in the bag without our help. Oh, no. The vassals, they've rebelled. Osman of the Veilman Liberation Revolt. Actually, he's really good. Shit. Okay. Um, well, thank God he has got this in the bag because we can't really help out anymore. That's 15,000 men. Uh, brother in arms, thank you. Oh, shit. Jonathor died of the bloody flux. Died. G gave his life for that siege. A small private funeral, because I think we might have to hire some mercenaries here to be able to win this war. Okay. Um, you know I said we didn't need those men from the, from the sisters? Now we do. Let's, let's send some boats over there. Go pick them up. All right. Off you go, team. Um, wait. 28, 28 boats for 1,000. Oh, does Game of Thrones want to change it? I have a feeling it does. Well, I mean, evidently, because we can't pick them up. Okay. Let's go and get those guys over. We'll start moving through friendly territory, so ideally we can reinforce. War knowledge gives... Oh, right. So in the base game, obviously, that gives tech points. But this one it actually gives us some nice bonuses there. Yeah, we'll go for that. Let me reinforce my rate plus 30%. It could be very good. Stick to home territory. Let's move through that as much as possible then so that we can reinforce. And then we'll just sort of hang around Stonehead. Maybe reinforce. There we go. He's won it. Nice work. The acquaintance, the Lady Janella Glenshaw, has been imprisoned by Emin. Well done, Emin. Oh, my God. He's old. Old Emin. Uh, old Manure. Sorry, not, not Emin at all. Wow. He is actually a tyrant, though. I wonder what he did to accrue that. It's only... Actually, it's minus 10, so he's been a tyrant twice over. Huh. Probably probably disregarding the vassal or something like that. Intimidating. Also jinxed. He's ignored the warnings of an old fool. You old fool. He's also lost a hand somewhere. Again, love by the sword, die by the sword and all that. Right, let's get over here. Let's go and deal with this one. Our own wars continue, so we won't join the... We rejoin the realm yet, technically. Um... They've thrown a lot of troops away sieging, and to be honest, what is it, a liberation revolt? What type of... I'd like to see their troop composition, but I don't think we, there's any way we can do that, is there? Okay, let's roll through. How many troops can we potentially have? 19,000. Might be good just to stick around for a while to guarantee our success, but we can play the terrain to our advantage as well. There we go. And now we can lead troops again, because we've finished being Perganat. Um, nah, but my born with gonorrhea, that's, that's, oh, that's a real shame. That's tragic. Um, let's go for... Shit, I mean, we've, we've wasted all the good ones. Or we've used up all the good ones, I should say. It's definitely not a waste when this kid's got... I mean, pff, Faith, just throw him away. Salt, no, we've already got a salt. You can be called... What, let's go for a... Never have to run a man's out. Potting Mix. Potting Mix is a great name. I feel bad throwing it under the bus like that. But we'll send him off to be a priest or something. He can redeem himself. Um. Oh, shit. <gasps> Marble got grayscale? That's... That's no coincidence that we've got Tainted Touch. We, or our religion has access to Tainted Touch and she gets Grayscale. Oh my god. Um, is there anything we can do for that? Uh, I don't believe so. I mean, we've already got a maester. There's not really a lot else we can do in that scenario, huh? Right, let's get these troops together. Let's go and stop this rebellion then before this gets out of hand. Shit. We did have a strong, powerful son, though, didn't we? We had like a genius... A strong, powerful son. We had like a genius... Yeah, that's, that's it. Genius attractive. What about you? So, this kid will then become our heir. I'm not going to lose too much sleep over it. If she dies, obviously, it'll be tragic because she's a prodigy. We could have done quite a few things with her. And, you know, this kid then means our back of air becomes our first heir and the rest of our heirs are shit. But, hey, um, it, it, every cloud and all that. We're, we're technically getting a better character. But, you know, I'm not going to complain too much. Have they got boats? 
The liberation reboat bringing in... Liberation reboat, did I just say? Revolt bringing in boats there. Okay, uh, now we can actually lead our armies again now that we're done being Pergonant. Incredibly selfish other. Okay, Sil, Uther, Peter. Let's get to it. What if they... Man, mountains in the province. That's clearly a coast, but okay, I won't complain too much. We do outnumber them by 3,000 plus men. I'm just going to go for it. Because all we got to do is defeat their armies, right? We don't have to worry about Kansas or anything like that. Um, 23 on their center. No commanders on either flank. It's probably good that we're on the center then. These guys weren't good either. So honestly, there's there's a lot of bonuses going on. Um, my lady, I, Daigus Arrhenios. Uh, yeah, Night's Watch, whatever. Piss off, that's fine. Gain, gain a little bit of piety, I guess. We should have them. We're good. Okay, now we join back to the realm. And now we can maybe do a little bit of skin changing, huh? Honestly, yesterday there was a really convincing argument on the comment section for building the Eerie in the Eerie that Mignor, you know, would want his daughter to be safe. Maybe that's partially why he gave her this province. Maybe that's why he gave her this realm, you know, arguably the, the hardest realm to take in Westeros. So, I think we'll build it. We'll build the Eerie. It does take the best part of many years. I can't do the maths off the top. What was that, like seven years, something like that off the top of my head? That's a long time. So... We're just gonna let them. We're just gonna let them sort of truck away with that one. I'm not even gonna bother overseeing construction because oh no, we'll take it down to only five years instead. Not much point. I'd rather have the money to be honest. Uh, speaking of which, we've actually got to set up a new Lord Treasurer. So let's go for what's that give? Metallurgist. Any bonuses? Nothing. Okay, gets work then. Daffin, collect some taxes. Or we could have him administer around, but I think some taxes might be a good idea just in case we need to hire troops or anything again, given the given the revolt risk that apparently we're now dealing with. Let's also start proselytizing because this realm is not particularly fond of us. Uh. Hand of the King. He wants to make us Hand of the King. Maybe so we can get a bit of experience looking after the entire realm. Especially given that right now he is uh, probably on the verge of death. 50 years of age. Stressed, fatigue, fever. I'll accept. We'll, we'll, we'll get some... Uh, he might even name us Regent or something. Oh, it's bloody Flux. He actually might die here. Get ready. We might be able to inherit the whole empire. I don't really want to do that before we've had enough... Had a bit more... Uh... Oh, wow. Okay. Um... It's demanding the Lord's head on a plate. Um, we can imprison him, and it is apparently quite justly. We get 50 prestige, 50 pi piety. Sure, let's do it. Chuck him in prison. We could call him for trial. I mean, is he not just guilty by the fact that we're allowed to put him in prison? Do we want to call him for trial? Um, we want him to go into rebellion, ideally. So let's call him for trial. If we have to release him, maybe we can... Go try by combat. You madman. Do you know what you fight? Even if we're injured, we're still, we're still incredibly powerful. Okay, let's give it a go then. Oh my god, it happened. Uh, that was it. No, no song and dance. We've inherited his tyrannical stain. No song and dance, nothing. He just died. Ah, oh, shit. Well, I wanted a bit more time to be able to get into the, did die of the bloody flux. Wow. He knew what he was doing. He knew what he was doing. The second he named us, uh, second he, oh my god, look at all this crap. Okay. Um, so we haven't got the glass candle active. Why not? Oh, because, right. Yeah, we're not a mystic or anything like that. So let's get everything quickly dealt with. So Crown of the River Kings, obviously, rather than the Storm Crown there. Got Valyrian Steel Armor. Uh, man, he's picked up a lot of books. Holy shit. Claim Fabrication Speed plus 10%. That's incredible. Um, Conquest of Dawn gives movement speed. Month of Prestige. Dawnish Opinion. We've got Dragons, Worms, and Wibbons giving 150%. Yeah, I'm not interested in Dragons this series. Thank you. Valyrian Opinion. Andal Opinion. First Man Opinion is obviously quite good. Ooh, yikes. Um, I think the Conquest of Dawn is a pretty good book. So let's get rid of uh, Valyrian opinion. Not too interested in that one. Let's go Conquest of Dawn instead. So that way at least we're getting the 2.5% movement speed. Might not seem like much, but it is pretty decent. Lineage and history is claim fabrication speed. Not really necessary, given the, some of the Cassus Bellow we've got. Um, first man opinion we'll take. Drop the system and opinion. Let's go for Andal opinion. We're rolling over them, so we might as well learn how to uh, how to understand them a little bit. Okay, so now we've inherited a shitload of wars as well. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. What are we up against? War for the Trident Independence. It's one person. So... God damn, this is oh, this is annoying. I can't believe we've inherited all this crap. Drop the troops. Let's uh, start this war again from fresh. So get everybody over to Emmons Rest. Get them into position. Then we'll um, I mean yeah, we can still we can still lead troops. Let's, let's stop this one to start off with. No reason we can't still join the skin change though, and we have the opportunity to join the sister now. But we we'll go for this one. Let's see what this one. Uh, <laughs> or or not? <laughs> um, no, it's not working. Let's get, uh, let, let me in. What are the conditions then? What do we need? Just says he's strong with the magic of the old gods. Um. Okay. Bear with. I'll look at that in a second. Every morning since my injury, I've been startled by the stomp where my hand used to be. The people around me have not been able to get used to it either. Lately, I've considered having a prosthetic hand crafted. We get golden hand, iron hand. What's the difference? Um. Mechanical hand, which will allow you to hold objects such as quills and swords, sounds more practical than a. 
golden hand, which would give us like a little bit of sex appeal or something like that. Although, if we have a lot of male vassals, which uh, it's kind of a mixed bag, really. We have a lot of male vassals. The majority are male, but... You know what? I am going to go with the golden hand. Fuck it. We're swearing off combat, aren't we? So so why not? Um, does that get added to our treasury? What happens with that, then? There it is. Golden hand. So it's pure plus five. It's not massive, but... I mean, it's okay, huh? I'm um, at the prestige 0 0.1. Not massive at all, but but still a, a slight improvement. That's basically plus five opinion with all of the, the male vassals of the realm. Boom. Gods be praised. Cleaver, uh, number of value here. Okay, we'll just salt down the next level and then we're going tidy up some of these other wards. We need to start off strong, don't we? We can't afford to take over rulership and then immediately lose some of these uh, rebellions, independence walls, whatever else. So I'm going to go to forfeit the trident. Wow. Um, she's Andal. You forfeit the trident. If you, you forfeit the trident, we'll give it to someone better. Can we also revoke a title? She did go into rebellion there. Technically not against us, though. We can exile her. Interesting. Change fear by 10 if we execute her. I want to see her fly. Oh, we can chuck her out of the moon door because, of course, we still have the Eerie. Um, now, nah, let's see her fly. The high hall of the Eerie is a narrow weirwood door flanked by two slender pillars named the moon door, behind which lies nothing but 600 feet of air. The condemned lady, Belle of Blue Fork, who just chucked a 13-year-old girl out of uh, out the window, essentially. Incredible. I love that. And that's a good way to start imposing fear into your vassals, huh? Another one down. Thank you very much. I wonder if we can execute her as well, right? So I guess we'll revoke her title, given that she's also Riverman Andal. Do what a father couldn't, to some extent. Forfeit Southstone. Thank you very much. He will forfeit the crag, but he may rebel. Let him, let him come, honestly. I think that'll be fine. Um, oh, we did actually revoke it. That's cool. Okay, so we can really start uh, trying to restructure things a little bit more in the uh, in the image of the first men. Thank you for turning up northern armies. Appreciate it now that all the wars are almost over. What the hell are we at war with now, then? Who are you? War for Case Independence. Where is Case? Uh, where is... Oh, oh, it's over in the Westlands. Right, I didn't realize he actually gone that far. Good God. We actually share a border with Casterly Rock. So we should probably try and snatch that one up as well. Get rid of another Andal Emperor, inverted commas. Okay, cool. So they're going to chase down their armies. We'll kill these guys off. Counter Siege of Stony Sept. Those guys can deal with that in the meantime. Everything's easy. How did he get minus 52% war score with this? My God. Nice. There we go. She is not here. Put a family in the dungeon. Oh, wow. That, that really doesn't give us very much war score. Did we take her heir? Uh, yeah, we have got her heir. And her husband. And one of our other... Uh, you just think that would be enough, right? Given that we've got a capital done as well. There we go. Okay, thank you very much. You will forfeit case, if you don't mind. Good start. That's a great start. Forfeit case. Can we execute anybody in the dungeons? That's the real question. Just to gain a bit more fear. Help reduce some of these... I mean, inheriting the, the, the Empire while we've still got that other modifier. Um, wherever it's gone. Oh, it's gone. It was supposed to last a couple of years. I guess it probably has been. Yeah, because we're 24 now. Right. God damn, that flew fast. Okay. How long till Tyrannical Stain is gone? General opinion minus 10. So we need to tidy that up as soon as possible. Shit, this is going to take a while. I've got to, got to deal with a lot of titles. We've got to be very, very careful with how we uh, how we deal with the realm now. Can we execute anyone? Looking for looking for some free fear, if you don't mind. Um, I say execution tyranny, none, preferably. Okay, here we go. Um, or we can go abroad. Abroad is fine. Abroad. Okay, so let's go execute imprisoned. Change fear by 10. Absolutely. Trick her out the, uh, the moon door. Carol. Let's go for another execution, if you don't mind. See him fly. This is good. It's a great start. It's a really good way to endear yourself to your vassals is by... Okay, be careful of that. Then just double check all of these. It's a good way to endear yourself to the vassals by, by murdering all of the uh, all, all of the ones you've defeated in war without showing any sort of mercy. That's pretty good. That's pre Okay, all right. So these guys actually... I mean, execution tyranny is apparently null and void. Let's get rid of that then. And I'll ransom everyone else off. I think that's fair. Good start. Um, we need to get Ashen Mark, don't we? Because that that's just a complete mess. That's, that's just an, an absolute mess. Right, okay. Captain the Household Guard. Maybe someone we trust. Uh, maybe he'll like us a bit more when we make him Captain the Household Guard. We need to give away some Dutch level titles. And that's probably why... Oh my god. This is why everyone went into rebellion. Look at this shit. Do my religious conversion? Maybe. Let's see if it'll work. Um, you know what? If, if either of you convert... Okay, he won't. Come on. Convert? He will regret this. Fuck you. Okay. Um... I was going to say, if we could get them to convert, then I'd be happy to grant them this title, but apparently they don't want to. Your first men. These fires. Uh, negotiate annexation. I would go personally. This could be good. Okay, let's go away some of the other titles then while we try and, uh, while we try and deal with that one. So who else have we got? Um, Giant's Lance. We, we might want to give that one away, but oh, saying that, yeah, we can't hold the Old Gods Faithful, the Gods I and the Giant's Lance, can we? My man. My man Daffin, after all this time. Congratulations for, for your... For your High services on the council as part of the Erie, then uh, you can have this because we've we've got part of the uh, we've got part of the duchy there. So Wayfarer's rest is all yours. Why did the lower towers not transfer? Oh, because they're under someone else. Well, that's annoying. Okay, um, we've got the trident needs to be given away as well. If we've got any first men, Yeetish Andal. How annoying. Um, 
First man and all. Again, if they convert, I'd be up for, for landing them. But they're not obviously not going to do it. What about you? Oh, you're under someone else anyway. So are you. Ah, oh, shit. That gives us one person. Unless we can take the blue fort, which we absolutely can't. Um, yikes, that's really annoying. Okay, I'm going to have to give it back to her, unfortunately. We don't really have a... Let's give it to, like... Let's give it to this guy, break up the realm a little bit more. That would also make him uh, our direct vassal. Then maybe we could demand conversion after that. I think it's the safest way to do it. Um, we're giving him the trident. There you go. This one's yours, my friend. And then we demand religious conversion. Ideally, he'll say yes. Yeah, there we go. Okay, that works out really well. I'll send him a gift too. Thank you for your service. Okay, who else we got? It's going to take a long time, but I'm, I'm going to be very, very careful to make sure that we are sensible with our realms being dished out here. So we're looking for, again, any first men... Oh, there we go. Perfect. There you go. This one is yours. Okay, so that's everything dished out. I did give away the Giant's Lance, but I kept the Eerie personally. The other thing we want to do as well is wait for these two people to die in, the, obviously, the Tower of Dread there. We've got... Actually, we could we could start Tainted Touch, and we've got that old God's magic, so we might as well put it to bloody use, huh? Tainted Touch. Uh, so, learning greater than 10. Power of Magic is not faded. Do we not need any... Oh, do we not need any sort of dark magic for that? But that's, that's fine. Kill these people off. Take back the tower. I think that's a good idea. We'll use these dark magics that we've picked up. Or maybe not necessarily dark magics. But we we'll use these magics that we've become apparently somewhat adept in. To, uh, to murder these guys. Take back our towers. Is it within her character? I think she'd be a little bit... I think she'd be... She's clearly ambitious. She's kind. Uh, you know what? Oh, no. Oh, that's not us. Thank God. Uh, you know... I think it's fair. I think it's fair. We'll just take him out what should be ours, because we would have never dished these out if we were still playing as bloody, uh, bloody manure before he gave it away. Shemi couldn't even host a funeral for him, you know? That would have been nice to, uh, to have the option to do. There's no option, is there, very briefly, before I... I don't think there was. That's a real shame that we couldn't host a funeral for, for manure, because he was one of our best characters. I mean, he was, a, he was an unstoppable man with all that, all that personal combat, all that martial as well. It's a little bit of a shame. Okay, so we're still trying to negotiate the annexation of Case here. I don't know how long it will take, but uh, if it doesn't work, I guess I'll just have to give it to one of those bloody, uh, bloody Ander rulers instead. Does indeed sound like a threat. Now, we've also got some options. Ah, another child. Let's go out. I want to try and get Mystic. Because if we can't join the skin chains for whatever it is, it's, I think it's just the society's broken, so it might take a while to patch that one up. Um, we could at least try and get Mystic. How is it we did that again? A quiet place to rest, and then um, something rushed around the corner. Well, we know what that one does. That, that gives us gardening. This one gives us the master brewer friend. What's this one? You rush after a small animal, try to catch it. I got it. I'll keep it as a pet. Oh, we just kidnapped someone's dog. Oh, that's quite nice, though. Plot discovery chance plus 10%. That seems massive, actually. Plot power defense plus 15%. Wow. Granted, we've got green dreams, dark magic, divination, whatever else that we'll be able to uncover plots. But that's still very, very good. Um, we're not going to bother with the dragon dreams, I don't think. Because that is obviously the Valyrian side of things to some extent. So it doesn't really fit the campaign. But um, I, I think we'll, we, we've got already enough plot power. That we don't really need to worry about it more to the point. Okay. So you oversee the round. Let's uh, send him a gift as well. Because these counselors don't seem particularly pleased with us, huh? Let's give them all some gifts. There we go. Um, you collect some taxes. Let's try and at least counteract this to some extent. Um, I'm going to make sure they like us. Because that's a good start. Can we have like a... Can we have a feast or something like that? Like a... Ah, oh, and a sepulchre. You know what? We can't have a funeral. But we can we can build them a, a runestone. That's a good idea. We'll have a feast as well. We'll try and keep everyone happy. Sell some meats off. Pay for the feast. Oh, this is also pretty good. If we spend lavishly on food, we lose malnourished. Cool. Um, what is that doing for us right now? Fertility minus 5%, personal combat, attraction opinion, plus 10, essentially. Very nice. So that's going to tidy up a lot of our vassal opinions, too. Oh, God, this is uh, driving a little bit of a wedge, isn't it? I think they've made himself... Oh, we got deceitful as well. That's nice. We've got to bear in mind, though, if, if, if we can give deceitful, there's a chance it can also give ugly, clubfoot, hunchback, those things that are present in the base game. Let's just uh, keep that in the back of my mind here. My guests wouldn't be impressed. Would be impressed if they understand at the feast. I'll spend everything we can on this. Let's make sure at least the people turning up are going to be somewhat happy about things. In memory of Manure, the sepulchre you commissioned is finished and raised on the spot you chose for it. This tomb was built by High Priest Silt, memory of Manure of House Murder, father and Salt's son. He was a caring father and husband and lived a good life. Ever will stand this memorial. Perfect. We gain 200 prestige, 100 piety. It's only plus 5 general opinion, but we also get plus 1 diplomacy, so that does help out a little bit in that regard. Um, how are we looking now, then? Let's all buy our vassals and just sort of see what their opinions are in general. Um, yeah, not bad. I mean, unfortunately, a lot of them dislike us, but it's nothing a little bit of gold here and there won't fix. I'm not going to bother with the cell swords because... I mean, they're, they're there to earn money via us hiring them. I'm not sending them any other money. Um, Lord of Crack Claw Point. There you go. You can have that. Blackwater Bay. You can have that. That's it. We're now out of money, but I think that's going to help smooth over opinions a little bit. We've got to wait till after this is uh, done as well. Oh, what is this? Your Butterman Lady, Riona Restart, re presented a petition requesting a commission to press sailors into the service of the thick flagship. 
And the High Priest other ships, as well as Petitioner's own barges. Um, we lose 125 gold, but we gain galleys plus 20%, and levy reinforcement plus 20%. No, I'm not going to bother for the time being. Um, oh God, we have to do this, though, don't we? Otherwise, we're just pissing them off more. Fuck. All right, I'm going to take it on the chin. We maybe should have gone for those so, gone for those sailors in that case. It's 110 gold. You know, it's just part of doing business, isn't it, really? Acorn Ridge, another riverman trying to plot against a 16% chance of intrigue. So if she rebels, we revoke her titles. I mean, not only that, it would help weed out a lot of our vassals simultaneously. However, with minus 206 gold, I think we want to wait till we're out of debt before we commit to things like that. Not bad. Honestly, I was kind of expecting a lot worse of this succession. It's not gone quite as badly as I thought. Let's get out of debt. Then we'll deal with some of the other political stuff that we have to worry about. But look at the amount of troops we've got. My God. 90,000. After we've dealt with our own infighting, then we can carry on the expansion into the rest of Westeros. The Regency for High Priest has ended, and we have Brynden, the sickly boy. Um, what did we lose then? We lost pride. Let's go for pride again. Um, what did we call you? I have an idea. Manor. In honor. In memoriam for the, for the great Manor himself. We've had five children. Can we pick a better ambition then? Um, spam round by conquest. Not too bad. Gives 500 prest... Oh, sorry. 200 prestige. Become a knight. Not going to do that one. Prepare a war chest. Ooh, yikes. 1,000 gold. It's not impossible, but we probably want to take the business focus. We'd have to be, I mean, oh, and also the base of is obviously slightly different in Game of Thrones, but I think they've even lowered the chance for it, haven't they? Exalted, 6,000 prestige, or vassals improved their opinion by five. We're quite far off of that one, though. Um, see the round prosper. No, we've got a lot, we've got too much to try and quash. Fine, expand round by conquest. That seems like a good idea. Let's go for that one, seeing as we're maybe rebelling to counter that anyway. Who have we got? So, King's Course of House castle she's got a dragon egg not that we want a dragon egg but that's kind of interesting okay um house tarth wayfarer's rest i'm not worried about you guys there this this person we need to do with not only is she a quite powerful vassal here but 16 percent chance don't know what she's doing oh come on we actually succeeded with the 16 percent. i wanted it to go into rebellion um that's shit okay um call her for trial we can execute her though why can we execute her fuck it I guess she did do something extremely treacherous if we were allowed to execute her. I'm not going to complain about that. Thank you all for watching. It's been an okay succession. Actually, nowhere near as bad as I thought. Help fight off that rebellion. You know, I think it was quite thematic. We helped to fight off the rebellion. He named us basically Hand of the King so that we could get some experience under our belt. And here we are. High Priest Silt the Determined. I need to change High Priest still. I, I did start doing that, but forgot to actually implement it. So we'll, uh, we'll adjust that so it makes a bit more sense. But... This is good. Not too bad. We do want to cure that gonorrhea as soon as possible as well, because that's not helping out with the whole attraction opinion, health, fertility. I'm worried that we might end up dropping down. Oh, we can also inspire Mellorism. Let's do that before we uh, before I forget. What should we go for? Diplomacy, stewardship, martial, um, intrigue, learning. Let's go for, ideally, a diplomacy. We did. Hey, that's very nice. Okay, uh, we want to get this treatment done as soon as possible as well. So the second that fades away, we'll, we'll, we'll go for the slightly braver outcome and hope that it cures it. What's the worst that can happen? You know, oh well, I mean, besides them maybe taking a leg and actually full-blown turning us into a pirate at that stage. Tomorrow, we will be skin changing. So stay tuned. Looks like I have to fix something to the society. I guess the mod is slightly broken or maybe incompatible with one of the other mods we've got going on right now. So I'll make sure that's working for tomorrow and we'll see uh, We'll see what exactly that society has in store for us. I'm not really sure it'll help out with the vassal management too much. Might have the opposite effect. Thank you to the insane top tier level patrons for making this series possible in the first place. And those people are Alchemia, Anthony Gorley, Sunikero, Toe Atmos, His Average Gamer 419, Bacon Kitten, Ben Hofflin, Chesty, Croesus, Donald, Doolin of Gondolin, Fukuno Vasquez, Frederick, Gogolus, Harik, Harry McGowan, Iguana Squad, James Shea, Jonah Waters, Justin Wallace, Kanan Carter, Michael Mullen, Muskratful, Nostrus, Necrofellum, Pelvis Presley, Rodin, Scott, Skaz, Megmustain, Somnus, Shea, t back Cruz, Tom Terry 18, Tyler Kendall, Tyler McClam, Bakus Backus, Varagon, William Green, Zazzy7011, and though it doesn't say on this list, the One Ring as well. Thank you all for your support at the Insane Tier levels on Patreon. Much appreciated. Thank you guys for, for going to that extent to help keep the channel going. And a thank you as well to Uwu Daddy, Asaro, Adam Person, Andrew Walsh, Andrew Wilson, Anchor, Attila, Austin Taylor, Betamus Max, Better Blur, and Black Double H, Blood for the Blood God, Wayne Gunn, Chris, Corgi Circus, David Van Diepen, Daniel Pete, Don, Don Honey 7 Emerald Bean, Foosh, Gabriel Van Ders, Gaz, Genji Zerka, Gothamo, Grey, Haji Dumar, I Am Sagatair, I See The Great, Jackson P, Jay Lara, Jacob Wolfie, Jason Sushu, Jose, Jeebus Crust, Euron DeVries, Jessica Smith, Job's Lucky Sister, Jilly Vondel, Joseph Beer, Justin Plock, Justin Rules, Justin Walters, Luan and Thomas, Luke Wallace, Manuel Bosich, Mustolp, 
Monty, Mosey Sampson, my name isn't Dio, Nathan Flores, Nathaniel Lundberg, Nick, Noah Gallimore, Organized Confusion, Pan Samu, Panther Pearl, Peyton Denisar, Russian Olgar, Billionaire, Brian Hooper, Sam Kier, Shardul, Shari, Smirtworm, Smooth Octopus, Socrates, Super Nanny 089, Sweet Cetala, Voodoo Mumbo, Void Prince Kibo, Will Wade, Will Sinatef, Wolfie, Yellow Four, Yorkus, Zach, Zetlock, and Zico 2. See you guys all tomorrow for some skin changing shenanigans.